Hello everyone, your warm welcome to the course of cybersecurity DOS and DDoS attacks. So today we'll be covering the practical aspect of how we can perform the attacks. So here I took two machines, one is the target machine and one is the Kali Linux machine from where we can flood the attacks. Okay, and this video is only for the education purpose, there is no other purpose behind it. So please take this as positively and try to learn out of it that how the attacker, how you can how you can defend your system your organization your networks okay so without having further delay let's get started so here uh, the first step is I'm going to show you the IP address of both the systems so this is my Kali Linux system and I type ifconfig here under Ethernet 1 you can see the IP address of this machine is 192.168.10.141 okay let's go to my Windows machine IP config the IP address is 192.168.10.142 and 10.2 is my default gateway and this is slash 24 because the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 okay so we got both the IP address of the target machine and the source machine okay let's ping as ping 192.168.10.142 you can see that the ping has been successful the TTL value is 128 the seek ICMP sequence number it's showing up this is the de destination IP address 64 byte packets are moving okay control C to stop it okay now let's go to Windows machine and we also ping 192.168.10.141 okay here from here also you can see the TTL value 64 because this is the Linux machine okay and there you you uh, hey, on Kali Linux you saw that it's 128 because it's Windows so you already read about this part also but just for the sake of knowledge I'm sharing you this as well okay so this is all done now we are performing this attacks using nmap okay and uh, there is also commands of hping3 command uh, which helps us out there are also multiple commands under that um, to attack and attackers are using that okay so I'll show you that so first nmap and I'll show you that what all ports that are open uh, on my target machine so I just type the IP address and you can see it's pretty quick and the nmap report shows that this is the target machine the host is up latency is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, seconds and uh, you can see these all commands that are open okay these are our unknown ports command it shows the MAC addresses as well okay so this command also help like this helps us out in uh, uh, in getting the ports that are open okay and if you have any issues with the commands and if you are new to this then I'll advise you this that for example type nmap and hyphen help so here you can see that all the outputs all the commands for OS detection you can see the privileges the packet tracing debugging level okay you can see everything verbosity level you'll learn everything else while you you will spoof MAC addresses data length okay the length of the data inside the packet so all this is TTL value time to live okay so this is also any command you type and just type help so it can help you out with the help uh, it can help you out with the proper instruction that which command you can use where okay so this is very useful okay so now we got that uh, what all ports that are open right so now let's start with a sin flood attack okay so I'm using hping3 command okay then s which is uppercase which is sin 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 attack so I'm using sin sin packet okay then I use my uh, space 192.168.10.141 okay which is my source machine of Kali Linux okay then space hyphen a okay for attacking 192.168.10.142 which is my target machine okay then I'm using the port number so hyphen p135 we are performing the uh, the attack on port 135 and here you can see that uh, we are just flooding okay so here you can see that we can we are flooding okay now we just go to Windows 7 machine and I'll advise just stop it for now so here you can see that 6 lakh 98 uh, packets that has been transmitted and if you want to see here on the Windows machine so under Windows machine just
okay so here uh, which is windows task manager so you can see that the cpu touch and everything it is showing okay and uh, we just uh, make uh, like again we start flooding the packets okay so here we have started flooding it okay now we go to windows machine and you can able to see that how the cpu t uh, usage will going to increase okay So you can see that CPU usage uh, reached on 22. Okay, if we want to see here uh, this on the on our uh, Wireshark, then just open Wireshark. Here I've opened it. Now the new one, and we just so you can see that the source and the destination and the number of packets how the packets are delivered to the windows 7 we stop it okay so here we take any random packet okay so under that you can able to see that how the packet you can see the ethernet which is frame 2 okay IP address it is showing the length and everything else all the information okay time to live value and okay, status unverified source address destination address okay but you know you can able to see the source and destination now if we want to use the random source then how we can use it okay so you can see source is this 135 okay and destination is 10.142 okay so this is the information we are receiving okay now for example for example if we want to do a random source okay so for random source and if we want to increase the number of packets okay so what we're going to do is we type hping3 okay then hyphen c then let's say the number of packets so c means count of packets so let's start with 10,000 packets okay so we are we are sending 10,000 packets okay to the size of bytes so we are using hyphen d and how many bytes of packets we need so let's say 10,000 bytes of packet okay then we are performing sin so we are using capital S then hyphen D okay which is uh, for destination port which is 135 okay and we are flooding it okay hyphen hyphen flood and hyphen hyphen rend source which is random source okay and our ta target IP address is 192.168.10.142 okay so we have just initiated a flooding packet okay let's start with wireshark and again i'll stop after a few packets so you can see here that how many number of packets we are receiving it okay so i just stopped this and you can able to see that they are giving a random ip address on the source and the destination remains the same so you can see that how attacker performs the the changing the source addresses okay as a random and it will take the random uh, source number so that it cannot be identified by the IPS okay as well so you can see the source IP address is 75121220083 okay then uh, which is let's just stop this flooding packet uh, before that I'm going to show you the windows machine as well so you can see the CPU use it is go 22% okay so this keeps on increasing and you know attacker how how they're doing it they are performing the attacks via multiple botnets or multiple systems they have okay so they are performing with help of that so if one system can able to send you can see here that 50 lakh packets 8000 and 853 packets that has been transmitted okay 
so you can see this is how flooding so this is under the single machine if they have 10 machines then you can see that how many packets they can able to transfer you know within multiples machine now let's start with uh, for example if you want to make a payload of data okay uh, as uh, you want to add a greater size to it so let's say hping 3 okay 192 10.142 okay and hyphen hyphen data and let's say I am adding six six zeros which means that one megabyte okay which is the payload data okay and press enter so you can see that the ID is using this and which is sending towards the receiver you can able to see the memory usage reach to 540 okay so under uh, Wireshark let's see this okay so you can see that it is showing IP fragmented packets so I have already told you during um, the during the theoretical session that you know if the packet if the payload size increases then it can using MM MSS maximum segment size it is um, you know they are going to reduce the packet size okay so you can see here that the packet size is 1480 bytes so this is where you can able to see that uh, uh, you know the payload size is going to increase okay and how this is how attacker attacks with higher length of packets okay data length so what happened that while during it reaches uh, to the destination and they'll add or they can recorrect it with a sequence number they cannot able to follow it okay so this this using this uh, the attacker helps this command helps attacker to perform this okay to flood okay